In this example, we're going to look at Snell's law, specifically a triangular prism. So I give you a blue triangular prism. It is a 3, 4, 5 right triangle. It has an index of refraction of 1.5, and it's immersed in air with an index of 1. You can see a red arrow, which represents a light ray incident on the left face of the prism, and it's at 30 degrees with respect to the horizontal. And I ask, what is the path of light through the triangular prism? So, we can solve this problem by first noting that the angle in the bottom left hand corner of the prism is 53.13 degrees. That's simply just the arc tangent of 4 divided by 3. Then by parallel lines we know that the angle next to 30 degrees must also be 53.13 degrees. And since we're looking at an angle with respect to the perpendicular of the face, we can draw on a perpendicular and determine that the angle is 6.87 degrees. That's because 6.87 plus 30 plus 53.13 must equal 90. So simplifying the diagram a little bit, now we can solve for angle alpha. That's the angle of the light going into the prism. Snell's law is just n1 sine theta 1 equals n2 sine theta 2. 1 times sine of 6.87 must equal 1.5 times the sine of alpha, and alpha is just 4.57 degrees. Since that's with respect to the perpendicular, 90 plus 4.57 is just 94.57. Now at this point, you don't really know if that green arrow is hitting the right face of the prism or the bottom face of the prism. We have to give you some more information so you can solve for that. Now in this case, I'm just going to tell you that the light ray will hit the right hand side of the prism. And we can continue the analysis from there. We're going to find an angle with respect to the perpendicular. The angle on the bottom left is 53.13 degrees. We know that the angle on the bottom right is 90 degrees, and certainly the angle with respect to a perpendicular is 90 degrees. And so now we can solve for that tiny little angle between the green arrow and the perpendicular. That will simply be 360 degrees minus 94.57 minus 53.13 minus 90, that's the 122.3 you see there, that is the final angle in the quadrilateral. And if you take that and subtract 90, that is the uh, angle that is with respect to the perpendicular, you get 32.3 degrees. And so now we can plug in 32.3 degrees and solve for beta. n1 sine theta 1 is equal to n2 sine theta 2. In this case, 1.5 times sine of 32.3 is equal to 1 times the sine of beta, and beta is 53.28 degrees. So just cleaning up the diagram, I can draw in what the path of light looks like through this prism. So a few final thoughts. Number one, problems using Snell's law are often coupled with a lot of basic geometry, as you just saw in the analysis. Number two, can you derive this answer in a different way? Perhaps instead of using the quadrilateral in the bottom part of the diagram, you can use a new triangle formed by the upper part of the prism and the green arrow inside the prism.